great. Ah. Hey, so I cut this open. Uh -huh. And look at the top of it. No. Yeah. Wow. So wondering what's going on there. Oh my. We're trying to figure out what's going on with this pumpkin here. Our pumpkins, they keep on dying. What's sad is that this is the pumpkin that we showed in the last video looking all pretty <laughs> like hey we're growing pumpkins nope seminal pumpkin is also called hanging pumpkin it was named that by the Miccosukees and Seminoles here in South Florida because they would come across it hanging in trees apparently it thrives on neglect so supposedly you can just kind of leave these to do their thing and you'll have pumpkins. Look, it's all it's popping up right behind our palette here. <laughs> I went to go see how weak this thing was. This is the pumpkin and it just came right off, right off. So something's definitely going on here. There's bees and all sorts of bugs. In fact, there was a skipper pollinating. So we know there's pollination going on. Hey, what are you? What are you? Is that a golf flitterary? It's a golf flitterary. That's the thing about these butterflies, they don't stay still very long. But I think I've seen a little bit of yeah, silver spots underneath its wings. That is a golf flitterary. So strange things with the pumpkin. We're not too sure. Um, we're gonna keep on doing research, try to figure out what it is. And once we figure out what's going on, we'll let you all know. Let's see what's going on in the back. Hey. These are all seeds we're planting uh, for the hotter summer months. Yeah. So we're using a nail file to rough up the uh, hibiscus sorrel seeds a little bit to help with germination. Or you can use sandpaper or another rough surface. Okay, so after doing a little bit of reading and watching some videos, we actually think the problem with our pumpkins may be that they're not being pollinated properly. So we're going to try manually pollinating some of our female flowers to see if we can get some pumpkins now. Please, pumpkins, please! So Brie is gently taking off the flower petals to reveal the stamen of the male flower. And the ant party. <laughs> the Zoom in on the ant party. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now would you say there's pollen all over that? It's left some on, on my finger, so yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we're going to use this to pollinate the female flower. So now we're going to gently lift the petals on the female flower. You can tell it's a female flower because of the gourd behind it. And we're going to rub that all around it. Perfect. All right. And close it back up, right? We're going to go ahead and close it back up. We're hoping that will be the solution to our pumpkin problem.